Factors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello everyone, Basil Chapman on this Thursday, Thursday, October the 14th. And what we're looking at here is the Dow has really held beautifully on that uh, 9 and 14 period exponential moving average. The MACD is good. The stochastics really pretty sluggish at 55. Unbalanced volume is terrible. But this is a very good percentage move, up 1.11 uh, right now percent. 376 points up, 34,757. Yesterday, intraday, we slumped down under 34,200. And now we are five over 500 points higher. That's the, how this market has been. Now, let me just explain a couple of things. And this is what I'm going to be going through in my webinar coming up on Tuesday, the, uh, the 19th. Four o'clock Eastern Time. It's archived, so if you can't be there, you can still um, listen to it. This is for subscribers, so you get, you can become a subscriber. You can become a subscriber. Get my newsletter. You can get the um, go to my archive the archived uh, webinars that I've done uh, on the different techniques. And if you're unhappy after 30 days, you can you can get your you can get your money back. Uh, so what we are looking at here is one of the reasons why I want you to remain long from that low that was made back in, let me just keep going back here, the day of the 23rd of March of last year in a core position, I mean, taking two little bits off, is because trying to find the bottom, getting out and then getting back in is really tough. So what we've done, we've shorted since we got that uh, just about the exact top and the 35,000, I think 400 area, the high was 35,000, sorry, 35,480, I think it was, 35,631 was the uh, all-time high. And we've had long positions, tough to, the last two to three days have been really tough to have the long positions because of those sharp pullbacks. You could be right for a little bit, take a little bit of profit, but then it pulls back lower. This is going to be really important. Why? Let me explain a couple of things. I have, a, I have a particular uh, technique that I use that I talk about very often, and it says a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your uh, patience. Look at this. If you look at the, the Dow from the May high of 35,091 35, down to the low of 33,271 uh, just uh, a month later, look what happened. Yes, we went to 35,600, 600 points high, 5, 590 to 600 points high. We came right back and we've been in the trading range for most of this year in the Dow. So that's what I mean, that you've got to be able to strategize. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And what, what we've done now is, for subscribers of opening call, we are out of any short position. We have long positions. And we're starting in the strategy that I'm looking at for what could work for the next two months, three months, going into 2022. And remember, my theory is that in the Chapman methodology, once you get a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode, it doesn't matter what time frame, it should go to at least four higher peaks, A, peak B, peak C, and peak D, the fourth highest peak. It can then recycle and go even higher, but it's the, uh, the core fundamental premise is that when an upgrade is made, the price should go to at least four higher peaks. That's where you've got to become a little cautious. It can go higher, but that's where you have to do some other homework. Well, if that's the case, the Dow has made a peak D. It's stalling here, but it's still within a couple of percentage points of its all-time high. Just a, a thousand points off the, the all-time high. Not even that. Uh, look at the S, and, and it's just about to bump into the resistance. So this rectangle formation here that I've identified can continue for a while longer. And every time you think, oh, my God, this is fantastic. It's about to break out. What happens? It hits some kind of resistance, some bad news. Boom, it pulls back. And then as you think, oh, this is it's going to break down. It's all over. Goodbye. It turns around and rallies. And here we are in the middle of the range. So. Keep in mind, 
that are close above 35,150 at any point in the next time, even say next week, would be a positive. But it's really 35,400. This is, you know what? We might have made a low at the 33,613 level back on 19th. I think it was the 19th of September. Maybe not the low, but it looks like it's it could be a solid thing. And that's the way we're looking at it. Next thing we're looking at here is key support is in that 33,700 to 33,600. Just make it as simple as possible. Now let's go to the S&P. So the S&P um, is trading now. It's just breaking above that resistance, Chapman Wave, inside track resell, repellent zone. Um, the the MACD is good. Stochastics are really not very good at 48%, but it has crossed positive. On balance volume is really weak. So either you say, oh, if on balance volume is very weak, we wait for it to get to the highs, that could be spectacular. Or you say, wait a minute, it's not demonstrating support. Um, um, that's the number of days, or in this case, it's a daily chart. So the number of days where the price closes higher, you add up volume. And when it closes low, you, you, it's, a, it's a running total, you, you subtract. So in this particular instance, it hasn't been great, but that's also because it's been in a very strong sideways move. And that's where you can get the unbalanced volume. That's how I use volume kind of stuck. So it's really important. We're at almost the high 4419. Uh, we're almost at the high of the day. Um, if it's able to get to the 4422 level and then 4428 and then 4433, these are levels that I'd be looking at and I'd say, hey, the higher you can go in this particular move, the better. Otherwise, expect that within hours to a to couple of days, something's going to happen where it says, uh-oh, failure pattern and a sauce on its way down again, just back into the range. That's all we're looking at is that so far it's just trading in a range. The weekly chart is not very good, even with this rally today. To get good, it really has to be in the 44, I'd say 4460s, all right? It can happen. There's just no question that it, it can happen. We're very oversold in some areas. And you've got, look, when you get to the QQQ, look at this. The QQQ has been hammered from 382.78, this is the index 100, down to 354. It's 30 points. It's, a, it's almost a 10% correction. Uh, there's no reason why we can't at least have an attempt for the first time in weeks to try to get to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right there. All right. And if we're able to do that, you'll see something really, really good going to early next week if we're able to look at the 370s as, as a trading uh, a trading level that's not only been touched, but you actually see a close in the QQQs because they are very oversold. The MACD is just today turned positive. The stochastics are 39%. That's terrible. On balance volume is terrible. So I'm treating this as a bounce, and the line is not even close to crossing above the 14-period moving average. I forgot to look at that in the S&P. No, it hasn't crossed positive yet. I forgot to look at that in the Dow. I think it might have in the Dow. Yep, today. The day is young, but so far it's crossing uh, positive, but it's a daily chart. You have to wait for the close. Look at the IWM, the Russell 2000. Strong move where? Right into the template inside track repellent. Remember, these are techniques I'm going to be teaching and showing and demonstrating uh, on Tuesday when I do my special webinar for subscribers. It'll be 4 o'clock to 5.30. And uh, send your questions in to me. Uh, this is for subscribers. Start sending your questions and I'll do We'll be back in a moment. If you want to look at gold, silver, the dollar, euro, we'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Belson Chapman. Dow is up 418. S&P's up 58. Now, let's just go to gold. Uh, one of the reasons I was talking about this the other day, and one of the reasons why I said I wanted to get subscribers back into, uh, into gold is because it seemed to me that the dollar, while it looked like it could be topping out a little bit, it, still, it was still very strong. But the fact that gold was holding so well and it made this particular pattern, this particular storm leg formation that has the chance to go to, as a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. You remember I, I drew that little circle. We had the exact same thing on the downside. This is a propeller shaft downward, and this is the way on the upside. Um, and the MACD was improving, the stochastic was improving, on balance volume was improving, everything was looking good. So this is a nice move up for at 1799. Now, the big thing about it is that I've got this trend line that worked beautifully when we were looking at the downside for the GDX, which is the, well, for, the for gold, which is uh, right there. This is the weekly chart. This is a pattern that I discussed and another one of those techniques that I'll be discussing. And let me see if I've got it right here. Yeah. So I look at a pattern very often, and it makes higher highs and higher lows, and then it comes down, and it forms what I call a Chapman wave. I actually drew this in, and I took it out because it was getting so messy. I don't like messy charts, although you think this might be messy. I didn't see it messy. And then what happens is you make lower lows, lower highs and much lower lows, and then eventually it forms a kind of a, a base of support and it runs up and breaks that trend line resistance and you can go one to one to the upside. Well, that's exactly the same thing on the downside. Look, I discussed this in great detail over the last many, many weeks, months, in fact, that the gold had come down sharply. This is the weekly chart and we had seen it in the daily chart. It did it a number of times. Now we're seeing in the weekly chart, I said higher highs and lower lows or much higher highs and lower lows. Sorry much higher highs and higher lows, and then it stalls and it starts to turn around and it makes the exact opposite. Remember, look, this is upside down. The whole thing's upside down. And therefore, you can break and you can go down. But if it can go to a peak A, B, C, D, all the way to the fourth highest peak, usually that says it doesn't have to break the left side low. It, it could, but it doesn't have to. But it's underneath this trend line, and that trend line is really important. Whoa, wait a minute. Do we have that? We have the exact same thing here. And what happened is in this particular instance, hit almost exactly, went to a fractional lower low from the March low in the in the gold 
uh, in the, what was that, under 1670, I think it was. And then it had a retest right there, and it ran up, and it broke the resistance line, and then it formed the dreaded H. And that H was successful because it had a higher right side high than the left side low. And then it said, all right, be careful. So all of this fits in the pattern that we're looking at here. And it says, good, now gold can rally. Well, now what I'm looking at is in the monthly chart, yeah, it's okay. But in the weekly chart, this is what we have to look at because the former support level will become resistance. And that says, if uh, the weekly chart of gold, let's go all the way to next week, can get to 1832, no, 1834 to break above that blue uh, rising trend line, that's going to be really important, number one. Number two is, if there's a stall right now because it's gone above the 9 and 14 period moving edge, that'll be a pity. But if it's able to hold into for two weeks, if if the if gold is able to cheat 1780 to 1775 as support and just start to make higher highs and higher lows, all of a sudden that weekly MACD is going to cross positive for the first time in ages. I mean, cross positive, it did just briefly and deflected lower, but hold very nicely. And the stochastic can finally get to the 58, 63% level or even higher. That's going to be good. And on balance volume is good. So with that said, support is 1780 to 17. Let's, let's call it 1772 on a short-term basis. So far, this is really nice action in gold. You're looking at silver, which has a slightly different chart formation. It's in a very steady um, stair-step move. Peak A pulls back, takes time. Peak B takes two days and then goes to a leg C. And that's what we're looking at here. But it's this ugly bar, the bar of September the, is that the 16th. September the 16th, uh, makes a high of 24.00, a round number, pulls back to 22.585. That's the bar that it has to tackle, and it needs to close above that high of the 16th, which is at $24. If it closes above that, it says not only have you made an inverse head and shoulders right here, but you've made the cup formation, and silver will then also be in play in a big way, um, and it has to hold 20 to I'd say 50 to 22.20 20 on a shorter term basis. The close below that says, nah, nothing to see here. Otherwise, at this particular point, very nice action up 23 cents at 23.40. Let's just do this quickly. Uh, the dollar is pulling back. We're still way up in the highs at 93.96. We remain long the dollar, we remain long gold via the GDX. Let me just show you the GDX. Same pattern, look at this nice cup formation, leg C. Uh, it's only an A, and A's can fail, but look at this, one to one to the downside in the gold miners vectors ETF. So far, this is very nice action. Look, this could even be a Chapman Wave squash. We'll see if that, that occurs. Stochastic's at 86%. Um, the MACD's strong. Nine period crossed nicely over the 14 period moving average. Nice cup formation. I thought I drew this in. Maybe I'll do that if we get a break. But at this point, um, let's just say, it, it's acting very well. This is kind of like an inflationary trade if you're looking at it that way. All right, I've done that, done that. USD, JPY, this is the Japanese yen, should be pulling back here. And lo and behold, it's made a peak seed. Might have one little pop to get a leg D and then it could start to digest gains, but it's still acting very well. It's actually acted in many ways from 109 to 113, acted better than the dollar. Uh, in, in certain aspects, certainly the weekly chart, but um, they usually go in the same direction, not necessarily the same percentage gains. And if you're looking at the EUR, USD, the euro dollar currency pair, there should be a nice bounce. You see, now this is the difficulty. We've got a trough F, a trough G, or turn account G slash C. Just for the moment, I like to put in to, so, to explain exactly what I'm looking at. So we're going G slash C. And what we've got here is a single leg A to the upside. Not great. So my suspicion is that the weekly chart that I showed you, the inside track uh, propellant, uh, uh, right here, the inside track propellant zone, that's starting to work. But I just don't know yet. I think gold, see, I, I've spoken about this some time ago. I said, think of Dolly, Vixie, Bondi, and Goldie as four separate units now. Try not to put them together. So gold is... It, this is a really good takeoff, but we have to treat it first as a takeoff and see if it holds. So we have no, other than short-term trend, we don't have the intermediate-term trend yet. Dollar has had a huge move. Currencies take a long time to really turn around uh, to change the tide. 
Okay, so and it's still on the upside. <clears throat> Bondi, so let's look at the TLT. This is a nice uh, bounce off the low. But so far, you just have to treat it as a bounce off the low, trying to get back into the dreaded H pattern of the weekly chart, back into that range about 145, let's call it 146. And it's at 145.39 right now. Um, okay, action. MACD did cross positive. Stochastic is very weak at 28% on balance volumes. Okay. So what we're looking at here is I suspect that bonds are stuck in a range. So in a sense, you're looking at the three units. Um, that is gold rally, bonds bouncing. You've got a goldie, bondy, dollar. Dollar's still good, but just pulling back a little bit. And VIXI. Look at the VIX index. Wow. This is something. It's just made a dreaded H pattern and it's down at 17.42. I'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So before I get to a whole bunch of questions that, just, uh, that I've been building up here, let me just show you that the VIX index is down in 17th. The next big sell-off in the market will become, this is a sell-off that is not just an intraday slide and bounce, the next big move will come when the VIX index at 3 o'clock any afternoon this Eastern time, an hour before the close, is trading in the 20.85 to 21.10 area. Then you've got to be really careful. And if it closes there for two days in the, in the, in the 20s, that says, uh-oh, 
now we're going to have a, another move towards the lower part of the trading range in the market. That's just a simple way to keep it in place. So I needed to do that. There's, oh, crude oil. Crude oil is every day you could say it's making some kind of a top, but actually just make it as simple as possible. The stochastic's flat at 85%. The MACD is really strong. It hasn't crossed negative yet. On balance volume says, yes, it is a little bit overbought. It should pull back. But until there are trades, two out of three sessions, it actually trades under 76. Uh -oh, did I say six? I mean 77. Under 77, uh, the, the, the bias is to see buying going into crude oil. At some point, we will get a digestive phase. This is spectacular action. Look at the uh, leg in the weekly chart. Look at that weekly chart. And look at the monthly leg D. Very strong. Trying to get to the all-time high of, not the all-time high, the high of 2018. Was it 83 something? I think I typed it in. Uh, there it is. Uh, yep, yeah, 80... 86.26. Huh, why did I take that? Right, 86.26. Um, so in the meantime, back at the ranch, uh, a question I had, I'm sorry, I, I, I had it there, I was ready, I even did it during the break, and then I completely forgot to come back to it because I get asked so many questions in the den and uh, Tiger Tiger TV, etc. So I, I must have, it was uh, on telephone. In fact, I think it might have been two days ago. And I, I meant to look at it, and what I was going to say is, AT&T, at this particular point, the way it's broken down suggests that you've got to treat it not as a dividend play. You've got to treat it only as a trade. And I think that was the question. And I'm sorry I didn't get to it yesterday because it, it, it plummeted. It's been, it was in the 27, 28 area for weeks. And then all of a sudden it plummeted, broke key support at 26.90 and it went kaboom down to where? 25.01, uh, missed the round number low uh, by a penny yesterday. And I'm even yesterday, I was going to say I would not do anything other than to trade this. And I, I think I, can't, I couldn't find the question. I'm sorry. And I think the question was more looking at it as a dividend play. The, basically, the questioner said it's been so terrible. And I can't remember if they said they've been long for ages or whether they were looking at it for ages, but it's been such a terrible participant. So for subscribers, I've been looking for, it used to be that you could go to the telecom, you could go to um, Verizon or AT&T or Comcast, something like that. And, and they, that was a nice dividend and they had really good year after year um, levels of higher highs. And then all of a sudden everything changed. Like even Verizon's trying to make it a low. I think the competition, I think a whole bunch of things are coming into play. And that's the reason why I said I was very negative for ages. I've been trying, saying, I can't look at this. And it turns out that it, the, the multinational oil is actually the place really to be because we've had such a spectacular move. But I'm going to say only as a trade. If you're looking at telephone, I, I would have preferred if I did it yesterday because I was going to say, why don't you nibble? Uh, it was in the 25, I think at the time, 25, 40s. I was going to say, just nibble here, but I'd have no more than initial one point stop. And the moment it took out today, that would have been yesterday, today's high. If you were in it, I would raise the stop to the day's low and just and, and ride with it. Well, that was yesterday. And today it's up 1.78%. It's up 45 cents at 25.75. I do not like it. So I'm looking at my other computer over there because I'm talking to whoever, I'm so sorry, I, I, could, I tried to find it again last night, it was right there, um, whoever asked me, I can't remember if it was a subscriber, or just someone in general, whoever it is, I appreciate your question, it's a good question. So only as a trader, it's trading at 25.74, I think it can bounce to 26.23, 26.50, the 9 and 14 period moving averages, and that's the big test. This particular pattern, when it's come down in a one-to-one -one of the dreaded H pattern, you've seen, look at this, uh, let's go back to, was it gold or was it the GDX? Uh, no. Oh, where was it? GDX. Why am I thinking of this? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so yes, your one-to-one, -one, this your arch formation uh, in the GDX, and it comes down with a one more than a one-to-one -one from the high, the 30.69 low of about the 16th or so of August 
to the uh, early uh, the fifth, sixth, or seventh of of September PD, and that thirty thirty point uh, sixty nine to the thirty three thirty area or thirty three ten area, you get that same over two point pullback. And look what happened; it went to twenty eight eighty three. So the T, there it is, has the same. It's gone even deeper. So I, other than just to trade. But I think you were looking for it as a dividend play. No, 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 no. I couldn't do that in good conscience because your 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 four, five, six, seven percent dividend could be wiped out with another quick, sharp decline. Just be careful. Maybe this is the perfect time for it. But I'm saying, looking at the chart, the risk is really high. Hope that helps you. That's with a T. Telephone, 25.73, up 43 cents. Now, if you only wanted to play it as a trade, if this is a completely separate question and I've misinterpreted it, then right here, you can start a position, 25.73. I probably would have no more than a 35 cent stop, tight stop, and then let it run. And if it's able in the next three days, without taking out your stop, if it's able just to sneak above the high of the 12th, which was 26.03, I'd immediately raise my stop to at least a 15 cent gain, just a small gain, and let it ride. And I wouldn't add to it. I treat it just as a starter. Oh, it pays eight. I thought I heard eight percent. I couldn't believe it. For an eight percent gain, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want a 12 percent risk. That's just make it as simple as that. And right now, it's in a bottom. It could actually trade for the next three to four weeks, uh, not taking out the low of 25 from yesterday. It could move higher, but it might not go very far, but it could just hold sideways. I've seen that happen as well. In other words, I'm going to draw this in in the weekly chart. Um, so you could very easily see some kind of a rectangle formation trying to get back to the upside before it does some testing again. Well, hope that helps you. Next question I had was uh, Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs is trading down 54 cents at 385.77. Remember, I drew this. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I showed this recently. I made a high on the 12th of August at 418.62. Comes down a single leg. A, it goes back, makes a nominal new high at about 420, just over 420. Let me see what it, it was because it was a double top. So it goes 416, 418.62 down to 390. And then it spikes up to 420.73. Retest the next uh, two days later at 420.76. Oh, FG. And actually, I didn't even see that. I thought that was an F. Goes to a peak G um, on the round about the 25th or so of uh, August. And then comes tumbling down to the 374 level. Yeah, I, I, I'm saying hold off. <clears throat> I'm putting this in the category of hold off because the general market is in a big consolidation. <clears throat> I'll be back in a moment. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at tfnn.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. One more back. And we're looking. Uh, so, uh, Sava, which is Cassava uh, Sciences. It's up $1.80 at fifty six seventy nine, and what I'd say is it's in this kind of sideways range. Uh, fifty six ninety one is right at the nine, two hundred period expansion moving average, but is above the nine and fourteen. Magdi is good. Stochastic is really lagging. So is the on balance volume. Relative strength is starting to improve. So all I can say is if you're long. I would just hold long. Be prepared that this sideways range can last quite a while. But that doesn't mean to say 50 to 66 is, I mean, right. Uh, you know, you have to moving averages uh, as resistance. That's a huge percentage or a drop from the 56 level back to test the 50, 48 area. That's a big percentage. So just think of it. This is a bioscience. And I'm just going to say, as a bioscience, you have to wait for news to come about, and then it really moves. So you just have to be on top of it, or you just have to say, I am closing my eyes, I'm holding this. That's just the way it is. I, it's really tough in, in a stock like this to give you a parameter that says, oh, my God, your whole position, you're taking, you're, you're taking it off. And the next thing you know, it has this news-related thing, and it soars to the upside. <clears throat> so if you've done your homework, it's in your biotech area that you like, I'm just saying, in this particular case, it's more like you take a smaller position and you try to make a really wide stop. You'd have some kind of stop and then you just let it play out and that's all you can do. Um, but in terms of timing, I'd say it about three days ago, it's getting within between two days to maybe early next week. Just the time, the line that it usually takes before it suddenly has a spike. That could happen at any moment, and it is three green candles, very small move, not percentage-wise, that's 10%, but just chart-wise. So that's what I'm saying there. Next question I had was, uh, could I look at Block, BLOK? Uh, this is Amplified Transform Data. I think it's sharing is the name. It's trading at 48.88, up 26 cents. This is a peak, look, peak A, Chapman Wave. I'll show you how to do this when I do my webinar on, um, there it is, on, on, Tuesday. So from the low that was made back in July, it goes A, B, we're always looking for at least a D, C, and there's your D. And then what happens is it comes in with a small gray A, gray B underneath the previous high, and it spikes to an E slash C, and it turns out that it's an E. Then it pulls back very sharply, and now it's in a brand new buy. I just think this is in a range. So at, at 48.88, I think the range is between 51, 50 and 50.60. And key support in 47 area. I just think in another five days, we'll be looking at this. I think it might just be stuck right about here, even though it's bounced around a little bit. But it's building a base in the weekly chart that with the higher highs and higher lows that says if it's able to close at 51.50, close that is, even though it'll be probably a leg D if it's in quickly, coming off the 200 period moving average, I can suddenly say, you know what? The cup formation is a very powerful formation, and that says I now have a timeline, and I can give you that timeline, and it says that by about October the 28th, uh, 51.50 would be a target, 
not get the 53s. It has to do a lot of work to get to the 53s. But that's kind of the way I'd look at it. My thinking is it's just going to hold sideways for a little bit longer before it has a bigger move. All right. Uh, next thing we're looking at is I was asked about CLF. CLF is uh, Cleveland Cliffs. Nice moves. Gone to a leg D. Look at this. Peak A, peak B, peak C very quickly and peak D in a very narrow range from 19 to 22. Yes, it's a nice percentage. But when you look at this overall chart, that's really just a tiny move to get to a D in so quick a time. So it says to me, watch the weekly chart because I, I can't call it an island reversal, but it's got a close, close look to it. If there is something to do with the uh, something that has some kind of talk that once again talks about infrastructure, et cetera, et cetera. This is Cleveland Cliffs, flat roll steel trading at 22.12 up 63 cents. This is in the wheelhouse of that particular, you know, the, the zone of, of infrastructure. But I, this is not a great looking chart. And the weekly chart says, wow, it's got a lot of work to do to get rid of that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right there oh it's just moved out of it it does that on time alone sometimes so we're watching this closely all right so yes if you're all along just I, I remember i said before just keep this as a buy and hold with a nice stop you have to widen the stop a little bit and see where it goes now a question i just had basil your help please on esz a two hour chart with chapman wave count and leg be higher what does Chapman Wave suggest ESZ1 likely to do next 12 to 24 hours? So that's ho, 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 ho. That's the question of the day, right? So let me go. Uh, let me just go here and let's see. I don't think I've updated my. Um, OK, I'm going to go to just for the moment. I'm going to ES, a continuous contract. Yeah. So that is a huge leg B to the upside from the low that was made at 43.20 at 12 o'clock it was yesterday on the 11th and today is already the 14th so you've gone peak a now a parallel high of 43.7150 for two bars uh no no 41 nope that continued higher so this is leg b either way you count it you can count it with the esz 21 which is the current uh, e-mini contract wow everything about this suggests that this should be, it doesn't, you have to use different techniques to say where, but it says leg B in the 120 minute chart, the two hour chart, the MACD is good, stochastics flat at 97%, on balance volume is a tad overboard saying, hey, in the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour and a half, you could have some kind of a pullback, but definitely, I, you, I don't want to change the rules. The rules are if you've got a buy signal, that is confirming that it's in a buy mode and the MACD and Stochastic are all suggesting that it's powered above the 200 period moving average. There should be a pullback, then a leg C, and then a pullback, and then a leg D. Now, most importantly, the E-mini is going for a leg B. If it can go above, this is the uh, December contract, above 44.2150. And the high today is 441400. Let me say that again, 412150. And you're in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. This is a little different to the other ones. This is not a single leg A up in a sense because you've got that pullback that made a higher high. You want, sorry, a higher low. You want to see, and you've got yourself those three beautiful trending this is the reason why i kept wanting to buy the diamonds over the last few days because you had the the lows that were making slightly higher lows in a beautiful little mini channel so so far up 48 in the dow up 59.70 in the cash um uh, s p and 59 in the um in the e-mini contract daily contract look at this so the reason why i want you to just go to the es continuous contract is there i've got the weekly that goes way back i've got this is do i now have to go back and say this is a potential g slash c or is this is a g i don't know the magd is weak but look the nine period moving average is still above the 14 and that's the 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 day but your question was on the 120 and my answer is yes this is leg b this should still it doesn't you could even get leg b occurring within the next 10 minutes let's say all right and then you get a pullback going into the lunch hour or at least uh, through larry's show larry Pizzavento. and then you get just a nominal 
leg C, a pullback, and a nominal leg D, and then you could pull back. So it's not telling you. Or you could get a one to one measured move from the 200 feet moving average going from 43.20 to 43.70, let's say, and then double that again. So I'm not saying how high, I'm just saying, yep, this is leg D. I'll be back in a moment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back, and we're looking at deer. The question came in, how about deer? Uh, DE has been in a beautiful rectangle since February. I would like to take a long position here right now. Thoughts? Thank you. So wait a minute. Uh, the rectangle formation, this is that dreaded H, but it took it out and did almost a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. It is a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. Now, this is a little different to telephone because telephone, I think AT&T has intrinsic problems. Deer is kind of caught in the uh, Caterpillar and Deer, although they're slightly, they do different, their product line is a little different. They often have the same chart formation. So I'm going to suggest that rather than say, I, this is going to whatever it is, just say, look, Deer has been acting even worse than Caterpillar. This is a fabulous candle today, but we've seen this before where it has a big green candle, then it just gives it up the next day. This is what I'm going to suggest. It seems like you've done your homework. Yes, this is a rectangle, beautiful rectangle between 400 and 321 uh, in the weekly. Then it did the dreaded, the arch formation. It's held the left side low. It took it out by a fraction 321.90 uh, back in May, I think it was, or June. And it runs all the way to 390s. And then it comes back to day's lows, 320.50. Why not do this? Well, you, if you use options, that would be one thing. But you don't. So I'm going to say... Start a small position at 329 right now. This is like a starter feeler position. 
and we'll follow it. I'll do it again tomorrow and then maybe on Monday to see because it's really, I agree with you, this is the area that should work very well. So far, it's not doing very much, and today's a great candle, but the day's young. Anything can happen. But I'm saying I agree with you that as a trade, there's a good chance that it could bounce between 3.30 into the 3.40s, and then you make some other decisions. Start a position right now small. You know, I'd, I'd still have a three-point stop. I wouldn't have 1%. I wouldn't make it. You can make it a little bit more. So start your position. So, folks, you've got Larry Pizzamento coming up for another wonderful show with Larry, great show with uh, Steve Rhodes. You've got Dave White, also wonderful technical analysis coming up. And you've got Wraps It Up with Tom O'Brien. What more could you want? Check out the front page of TFN. Uh, you'll see my my uh, webinar coming up. It's to advertise. What's going to be the coming uh, a few months going into?